Now guys, before we get into my Galaxy S10 first impressions video, I just want to let you guys know that Mint Mobile sponsored my trip over to Samsung Unpacked 2019 in San Francisco, and they have an amazing plan going on right now. You buy one month of service and you get two months free for 20 bucks. And included in that service, you get eight gigabytes of 4G LTE data, unlimited talk, unlimited text, and a bunch of other stuff as well. I have a review for it down below. And if you wanna sign up, the link is down below. Again, thank you Mint Mobile for sponsoring my trip. On to the first impressions. What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the Galaxy S10 Plus. I've been waiting for this phone for a very, very long time through leaks and through rumors. It's finally here and it is beautiful. It is a gorgeous looking phone. This is the Prism white one right here and uh, it will be launched or officially released on March 8th and talking about the phone, some of the things that I've noticed thus far is the camera. Now it does have five cameras, it has two on the front and then three on the back and one of the things that kind of bugged me about the Galaxy S9 Note 9 is that sometimes when you take a photo of someone slightly moved, it would become blurry. This does not have that same issue. It's been super crisp. The live focus is amazing. I was super impressed with that. And uh, video, again, stable, beautiful as always. And uh, just cameras, I'm, I'm very impressed with what they've done this far. One of the other new things about this is the wireless charging from this phone. So basically, you can put another device on the back of this Galaxy S10 Plus and charge it, and it worked flawlessly. All you gotta do is swipe down from the top and go into wireless power share and then smack a phone or anything else that wirelessly charges on the back of this and it just works. Another super impressive thing about this phone is the audio that it produces. It is very loud, very clear. I have a video that I'll show you in a second just comparing Galaxy Note 9 volume versus this and this trumps it by like two or three times. It's very impressive again. I was shocked that they've improved the speakers on this. This is a test of the Galaxy S10 Plus front camera shooting in 4K and just a few photos and videos that I've taken so far. This is a test of the Galaxy S10 Plus front camera shooting in 4K and just a few photos and videos that I've taken so far. The only negative I have really about this phone, just playing with it for a very short time, is that the power button is just a little bit too far up on the side of the phone. Normally it's about right here, and then, uh, I don't know, for some reason this year they put it up just a little bit higher. I'll get used to it, but I wish they had it in the same spot as they did always. Obviously they changed the fingerprint sensor from the back to the front, and uh, I set it up on here. It was really easy to set up, uh, really easy to get started, same way you would with any fingerprint sensor. Um, what you'll notice, obviously, is that when the phone is off, you can unlock the phone without having to really do anything else. Um, you just place your finger there when the screen is off, and it automatically unlocks your phone, kind of like it would do it on the Galaxy Note 9, where you would just hard press on the home button and it would wake the screen up and then you'd either put your fingerprint sensor or you would unlock it with your code. Uh, this just works with the fingerprint sensor with the screen off, so I love that they did that. And then one of the other things that's brand new about it is the design. Obviously, you're gonna get two cameras in the top right, very small notches at the top and then a little notch at the bottom and then you get the nice little glass back with you know the prism colors and you have also have ceramic colors and then you also get three cameras on the back. I really like the back design. I think it's beautiful. I think they hit a home run with it. Um, as for the front, again, I haven't played with it for hours, but just playing with it for a little bit, it hasn't really gotten the way of the experience of using the phone. So. I would say it doesn't bother me, but again, I need more time with that to give you guys a full uh, decision on that. Besides that, you're still getting a very fast phone, tons of storage, it has micro SD cards, it has wireless charging, great speakers, a great display, it has everything that you would expect with a Samsung phone and just things are improved overall. So I'm excited to try this and give it a full review. But again, if you want to pick it up, I'll link it down below. If you have any questions, also leave that down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace!